One of the challenging things about reading drama is that in some ways it works differently than other types of reading. Normally, when you're reading a book, you have the book. Well, we can go even back a little bit further. You have the author who puts his or her ideas down in a book. And then you, the reader, pick that book up and read it. So there's a fairly direct line between author through the book to the reader. Think about how this works with a play. You still have an author. The author writes a play. And in a class like this, we're reading it. But normally, that play is then interpreted by a director and actors before an audience sees it. So there's this extra step in a play that we don't usually have with other types of writing. And I want us to think just a minute about all of the different choices that a director or actors have to make. So if you think about it, first we have casting. Who plays the roles? I'll give you an example of this from, from Bad Seed. Um, in every class that I've taught this in as a face-to-face -face class, one of the first questions is, how do we cast the character of Leroy? And almost always, um, students will cast Leroy as being African American. I don't believe that there's anything in the play that says that is the case. And in fact, when you do that, all of a sudden you have added the dynamic of race to the equation in a way that maybe wasn't there in the actual play. We have how the actors speak their lines. We have set design. We have costuming. We have lighting. Um, this list could go on for some length. All of these are parts of this step, the directors and the actors. And they are things that help the audience to interpret the play in a certain way. Now let's complicate things even a little bit further. The author of the play, the playwright, is usually not the same person as the director. And the director of a play is free to make changes to the play, is free to make these kinds of decisions in a way that the author might not actually like. Um, you can see as you look through Bad Seed that there are stage directions. There are places where uh, Maxwell Anderson has said, here's what the set should look like. But the person designing the set doesn't necessarily have to do that. And that can radically change the way that we understand the play. Um, if we met in a face-to-face -face class, I would have you actually make some of these decisions with Bad Seed to rewrite one of the scenes or to act out one of the scenes. We don't have that luxury in a face-to-face -face class. So we're going to look at a film clip of the, the movie version of Bad Seed that was made in 1956. And then we will use that as a point of discussion.